The Ballad of Bales On a canvas, blank with beauty, I can feel the pulse begin. I can hear the far-off chorus of a glorious violin. There's a spirit flowing freely in a tune that's being sung on a friendly game of cribbage in an ancient Russian tongue. Ingredients lie scattered. Saddles, skis and other shapes like music stands and cattle brands and iron barks and grapes. A project beckons bravely and alive with inspiration. Now a storefront lends its luster with iconic implication and rising from the fire bringing dazzle to the dark a breath of wisdom enters with a charismatic spark as the first stroke cools the canvas and a newborn baby wails it sings sydney value maya but the wind just whispers bales and the streets of san francisco couldn't know the raw desire of that small but bright-eyed bundle in the arms of merlin maya the secret to his destiny so fittingly assigned when the Ballou and the Maya were collectively combined. It was tied into his DNA, this want to cast a spell, to choose the path of living and to live it really well. When the carousel of childhood put Sorrento in his song and an air of education had him boarding at Geelong, it didn't fit him perfectly, but taught him just the same that his family was precious, and the world was his to claim. Brutal though the day can be to devastate a lad when adversity calls early, and it takes away your dad. Sid's dynamic drive to find the man he would become, but the wind beneath the Maya wings now rested with his mum. Mentors featured strongly. Harry Nelson came to hand. He drove Bales to the glory of a place called... Tigerland. Nilma, Ken and Marigold were with him on the walk. It was Fare Thee Well, Cranlana, and Hello, New York, New York. Riverdale revamped him. Gridiron football marked the hour. He started learning German, just in case the war turned sour. And then he joined the Navy, rode the Piri's Wanderlust. He served his country proudly, though his moustache bit the dust. Cambridge paved the way to earn another mighty rank, a triple crown at Pembroke, where he studied, rode, and drank. Colours fill the canvas now in shades of no regret, but before we speak of business, here's his brightest colour yet. In a panoramic paradise with cattle rails in Corden, riding in from Retford Park, the stunning Sarah Horden. Proposing to her sickbed, it was guaranteed success. You see, escape was not an option. So it had to be a yes. And so began a fairy tale presented in a parcel of Santa Gertrude's sunsets from the turret of a castle. The Clarence River's Yugobar, a heavenly retreat. And now the picture being painted looked a whole lot more complete when this place of little fishes put a few more on the grid. The Maya Pond Beatified by Rupert. Sam and Sid. The detail in the retail now was waiting to be steered. Simcha's stirring vision will forever be revered. His sons upheld his honour. They enhanced the hill he climbed. Bales learnt much at Harrods, and then Macy's had him primed. Though in making good at Meyer, and for all of his successes, the humble truth? It started in a rack of ladies' dresses. Like every single challenge, though, he proceeded forth with passion, firstly, as a dedicated follower of fashion, and all the way to chairman of a board born to excel. He set and nailed his targets, and he bought that brand as well. Corporate evolution meant the game would change for good, but his chapter will be written in the way great stories should. An obvious bestseller by a classical composer in a symphony that celebrates the snow slopes of Arosa. The family that skis together stays together, right? The measures in the treasure of this gathering tonight. And viticultural history fantastically entwines when the glow within your glass reflects the region's virgin vines. Another Maya memoir makes its monumental mark, lying smitten in the aura of this gem called. LG Park. 
Where to stroll its timeless gardens, with your soul succinctly wired, leaves you sculpturally enlightened and artistically inspired. For it harvests a reminder when the time come to depart, that his vintage really does depict a famous work of art. From crook and jack to friend and back, a work of art indeed. In landscapes sung in Boonwurrung, diverse addictions bleed. The Japanese, the tapestries, they all enhance the score. And deep within his hallowed heart, there is always room for more. A fantasy created by a wealth of open spaces. Barula, Elgi, Yuguba, his open mind embraces and intoxicates his palate as a man of new frontiers. A honeymoon on horseback now for 63 strong years. Yes, Sarah's equine influence compelled her loyal cult to a world of rough and tumble, like when Turban took the bolt. Though reluctant doesn't suit the sash of sailors meant to ride, nor the curious commitment of a legend in full stride. And life bestows great titles on its ultimate showstopper, though nothing more prestigious than the one and only Bopper. With Mopper there beside him, it's a romance rightly paired. If they ever made a movie, then the Oscar would be shared. His role in the community ignites the flag he flew for the aged and for the ill, and for the quarter horses too. As a connoisseur of chocolate, he is brilliantly immersed. He's a genius with numbers, but he counts his family first. Though the Legion de Honor and the AC grace his suit, he's an accidental rock star and comedian to boot. So I doubt we need a cliché when the moment comes to speak in describing his enigma as incredibly unique. In the never-ending magic of your journey's upward graph, always have a project, friends, and always have a laugh. Apply no drab restrictions on your novel's claim to fame. Be sure to take it easy. Yes, but take it just the same. When lamingtons present themselves, be nothing else but bold. If you mow lawns for Australia, you can win Olympic gold. And when in doubt, it makes good sense to light a decent fire. But regardless of your candle count, you don't need to retire. That's not to say that leaving is a skill you should neglect. If your table at the nightclub calls, well, you have to be direct. And his footwork on the dance floor harbours no real signs of slowing. So he'll tell you, thanks for coming all, but mostly, thanks for going. It was the 11th day of January in 1926 when something truly beautiful was painted in the mix. And the Sydney Meyer Music Bowl might sing it with great zest. Yes, his parents would be proud of how their boy upheld the crest. Still he plays that violin, while greater heights implore him. His children and his grandchildren undoubtedly adore him. For he taught them to embrace the gift of road-less travelled living, but even more importantly, the majesty of giving. So... Raise your margarita to a most amazing man, a wonderful Australian who fulfilled his best-made plan, eternally remembered where humility inhales and emerges with a masterpiece, the masterpiece of Bales. <laughs>